Hello, and welcome to the second TI Precision Labs lecture discussing isolated gate drivers. In this video, we'll explore some applications where isolated gate drivers can simplify the design process and solve tough challenges for system cost, robustness, and performance. Continuing from the first lecture, the common topologies we will discuss, which make use of isolated gate drivers, include three-phase power factor correction, solar string inverters, motor drives, and traction inverters. The lecture presents systems in order of design constraints. Power factor correction converts stable, monofrequency AC power into stable, clean DC power. Solar string inverters reverse this operation and convert stable, clean DC power into stable monofrequency AC power. Motor drives convert stable clean DC power into AC power, but with a significant range of potential output voltages and frequencies for independent speed and torque control. Traction inverters inherit all the existing requirements of motor drives and often include new requirements unique to transportation. Each of the example topologies in this video is linked in the additional resources below. Three-phase power factor correction circuits use a low-voltage power controller to condition the input current from an AC source to be in phase with the input voltage, while generating a DC voltage on the output which can be cleanly converted to usable levels for high-voltage systems, such as electric vehicle chargers or factory equipment. Three-phase power factor correction circuits interface directly with the AC power grid, and when this equipment also includes operator-accessible interfaces, standards call for reinforced isolation between those interfaces and any high-voltage circuitry. There are many standards with differing requirements for system-level performance on temporary overvoltages, surge voltages, creepages, and clearances. Isolated gate drivers can help to meet these system standards, often capable of performance beyond other components in the system. Some topologies, such as the Vienna rectifier in this example, use a boosting configuration that outputs a DC bus of 600 volts or more. Standard 600 volt half bridge drivers are not usable, since overshoot on the switch node could damage the level shifter. Low side drivers can be used with a gate drive transformer or discrete level shifter, but this adds cost, takes up board space, and adds to system complexity. On the other hand, isolated gate drivers can have working voltages in kilovolts and can withstand 600 volts or 700 volt buses for many years at industrial and automotive temperature ranges. AC line harmonic current is limited to certain maximum values by standards agencies. Increasing switching frequency can improve distortion, decrease line filter and inductor size, increase power density, and decrease cost. Faster switching frequencies are achievable for gate drivers with low propagation delay, pulse width distortion, and part-to-part -part or channel-to-channel -channel timing skew. Thanks to the high frequency carrier used in capacitive and some transformer isolated gate drivers, Propagation delay and timing skew can be made very small by design and more consistent over operating temperature and voltage range. Opto-isolators, by comparison, usually have significantly worse timing characteristics, especially when accounting for drift over temperature. Solar string inverters are in many ways similar to power factor correction circuits, but here the flow of power is reversed. The inverter DC input bus is provided by conversion circuitry dedicated to mean power point tracking at the panel level or at the string level. The DC bus output is chopped by high voltage transistors and passed through a filter to produce an AC output that matches grid frequency and voltage levels. Industrial scale solar string inverters combine the outputs of many panels and are continually pushing for DC bus voltages well above 600 volts to minimize I2R losses and to increase panel stack voltages. 800 volts, or 1000 volts, are common levels today in 2018, with 1500 volts expected in the near future. 
Non-isolated half-bridge drivers are not a suitable solution for the high-voltage buses of the future. For isolated gate drivers, 1500 volt working voltage is available with many existing solutions. Given the high voltages, high power ratings, and high environmental temperatures expected in industrial scale solar power generation, IGBTs have been the conventional switching transistor of choice for a number of years. But slow IGBT switching speeds and large losses at high frequencies have limited inverter design efficiency and power quality. To properly filter the low frequency AC line harmonics, bulky and expensive line filtering passives are all but mandatory. It is understandable then that silicon carbide MOSFETs are becoming more appealing for these systems. Silicon carbide MOSFETs have high thermal conductivity and operating temperature range, can withstand high voltages, offer substantial reductions in switching losses over IGBTs and silicon MOSFETs, and can be operated at higher switching speeds. The switching speed increase in particular enables more compact inverters with smaller line filters, higher overall efficiency, and better power quality. As in the previous example, high-speed switching requires responsive drivers with excellent timing characteristics. Higher switching speeds also demand higher common mode transient immunity. And the industry has responded with isolated gate drivers rated for 100 volts per nanosecond or greater slew rates. IGBTs and silicon carbide MOSFETs have unique requirements for gate drive voltage, negative bias at turnoff, and overcurrent protection. Isolated drivers today are designed with features to accommodate these drive requirements. Motor drives are inverters, and like solar string inverters, the flow of power and the general DC to AC energy conversion principles are similar. Unlike solar inverters, which must generate high quality AC power with narrowly defined voltage and frequency range, motor drives are designed to allow variable frequency and sometimes variable voltage. There are numerous motor control schemes and topologies some vastly more precise and complex than others. A powerful microprocessor, digital signal processor, or FPGA is all but necessary to implement high power motor control. And this controller always needs several gate drivers. Industrial motor drive standards call for reinforced isolation between user accessible interfaces and high voltage elements. And isolating the controller from the power stage helps ensure the system can protect itself in the event of a fault. Isolated gate drivers minimize component count, offer excellent propagation delay and part-to-part -part or channel-to-channel -channel skew, and are robust against inductive switch node transients, so they are typically a smart choice. IGBTs are the predominant switching transistors in low and medium voltage motor drives, thanks to a combination of widespread availability, high voltage and current ratings, and low conduction losses at high currents. Yet IGBT turnoff tail currents restrict PWM frequency, placing upper limits on achievable efficiency and forcing the use of a bulky, costly heatsink. Silicon carbide MOSFETs continue to draw interest in motor drives, thanks to their high voltage rating, fast turn-on and turn-off times, and impressive thermal reliability though silicon carbide MOSFETs come at significant expense compared to IGBTs. As the cost of silicon carbide solutions decreases and the design challenges are better understood, silicon carbide MOSFETs promise to decrease system size and heat sink cost through enhanced efficiency and thermal performance. Isolated gate drivers are available to handle both IGBT and silicon carbide motor drive solutions integrating transistor protection features, and offering excellent timing characteristics. Traction inverters are a special subset of motor drives designed to power transportation motors. The growing market push for electric vehicles has created demand for drive systems capable of unprecedented efficiency, responsiveness, and robustness. The increase in transportation system complexity also introduces new risks to human life, and so there is a correspondingly greater emphasis placed by standards bodies on system safety. For railways, 
elevators, grid-connected transportation, and battery-powered electric vehicles with high-voltage batteries or motor-inverter bus voltages. Reinforced isolation between the high-voltage power source and the user interface is absolutely required. But beyond just isolation requirements, traction inverters must be able to detect, diagnose, and recover from failures before they become catastrophic. Traction inverter design requirements for automotive suggest the next steps for isolated gate drivers. The high operating temperatures typical of transportation systems, the large volume normally consumed by motor drive heat sinking, and the increased responsiveness required for safe operation all suggest that silicon carbide MOSFETs are a natural fit for these systems, and the isolated driver must be able to deliver high output currents with consistent timing characteristics across the automotive temperature range. Gate drive signals and fault monitoring signals are needed for each transistor exposed to high voltage, and isolated gate drivers can integrate many of the required features using the same isolation technology, saving on time, cost, and board space. End equipment manufacturers must build their traction inverters to meet stringent functional safety requirements, and when used in combination with other protection mechanisms, Isolated gate drivers can help to simplify and accelerate the design process for systems which must meet these standards. Throughout this lecture, you may have noticed several key differentiators being repeated across multiple applications. The remaining lecture topics are devoted to exploring these key differentiating factors in more detail. The next lecture will discuss four datasheet parameters that govern the feasibility of high-frequency conversion in high-power systems, and the impact these differences can have on end equipment. After that, the next lecture will briefly introduce some of the features used by isolated gate drivers to solve application-specific challenges. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Please try the quiz to check your understanding of this video's content.